Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Did you ever see one of those controllers for the Wii and think, wow, this thing would be a cool controller for my modular synthesizer? Well, you're not the only one that thought about it. Mickey Delp from Delptronics actually thought about it and did something about it. So he, des he designed this little module here, which is the Wii Chuck controller module. It turns all of the data from the Wii Chuck into usable CV for the modular. So you get a joystick, both the axes and the joystick. You also get an accelerometer or a gyroscope or however you call it in there that measures the uh, position of your hand as you hold it or whatever you have it attached to. And you also get two buttons that you can use to trigger events or to open gates and whatnot. So super cool module. I met Mickey at uh, Synthplex in Burbank. He gave me this kit right then and there. Let's take a look at the baggie. Everything you need comes right in it. You get the PCB, the panel, all of the jacks and all of the components, uh, including mounting screws and a power cable. Take notice, the nunchuck controller itself is not included in the kit, but you can get one through the Deltronic store or eBay very cheaply, if you don't already have one. I stole mine from my wife's Wii set. This is a nice and easy build, good for beginners. Everything is through hole, and there are not too many components. As usual, I started by placing all of the resistors and diodes, soldering them from above, then trimming the leads. Next, I placed and soldered the IC sockets. I used the panel to keep them in place as I turned the board around to solder. Next, I installed the power header, followed by the capacitors, then the transistors. Then I snapped the ICs onto their sockets. Make sure they are oriented correctly. Next come the jacks and the button. I first placed them onto the PCB without soldering and proceeded to tighten them to the panel before finally soldering them in place. Lastly, I installed the LED. By the way, the button allows you to program the CV range for each individual output. You can set them to be bipolar or unipolar, that is minus 5 to plus 5 or 0 to 10 volts. And apart from the joystick accelerometer and button outputs, you also get a pair of hold inputs, which hold the values for the accelerometer and the joystick when gate is low. All right, that was the Wii Chuck module. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, click like, subscribe, and join our Patreon. Stay tuned for the demo video. I had a cool idea about how to use this thing, so check it out. Stay noisy.